Hi, my good lamb friend. Today, Magnus Carlsen and Richard Rapport played against each other in Total Steel Tournament, and Magnus won in 31 move only. And he didn't win because he outplayed in opening, he won because he had a big, good, big idea, and he won because Richard Rapport didn't find a good counterplay against him. I want to talk about these two concepts. The big idea that Magnus had and the missed counterplay of Richard Rapport. Let's go forward and see what's the opening. The opening is the Catalan structure. Magnus played in uh, World Championship against uh, Nepal and initially gave up a pawn, but later came back this pawn. That in the Catalan structure, you try to attack the b7, a8, and this diagonal with your fianchetto bishop. And Rapport repositions the knight and placed it in the center. I didn't like it. I was going to castle myself. But anyways, he prefers that. And here is the end of opening. Finally, White's rook comes to the open file. And this is a complete construction that you want from Catalan structure. Now, what's the idea of Magnus? What's the idea of Magnus is the following. Magnus wants to create the outside pass pawn, pass A pawn. And what's the idea of black? Black has two bishops and black wants to use those two bishops. And how the game continues? The game continues a little bit strangely. First, Magnus grabs that pawn and then, strangely, uh, Rapport gives up a bishop pair. This bishop is not just giving up a bishop pair, but this bishop was and defending the 8, 8 square. No, a8 is very weak and the a pawn of white is very strong. It's not just a pass pawn, it's the outside pass pawn. And it is in the last rank is also defended with his bishop. And here is the mistake of Richard Rapport. Here is the part that I want to talk about it. This position is relatively horrible for human player. For engine, maybe it's not horrible. For a human player, it's horrible. Like black is in a very difficult position. Black should find counterplay. And the best piece to make counterplay is what? The queen itself. Richard Rapport moves the queen, but actually he shouldn't have moved the queen. He should use the queen, not moving necessarily. And what do I mean by that? I mean, if you move the queen to e7, you somehow pinned your queen. White loves to exchange his queen with the queen of black because you cannot stop the a pawn if you will take the queens off from the board. Especially if you take everything off from the board and leave the kings alone and it's only white can who can win in this position. And if we take off the queens uh, from the board, if, if, uh, remove the pieces as much as you can, then white's chance is higher, right? Especially if you remove the queen, the best counter player piece and then the white chance is better and here instead of for example queen there could have first attack this strong bishop say that okay give me that bishop uh, or or just go back if it goes back then push the pawn and then the knight of black is super strong and controls many squares then black can develop bishop and if white tries to attack this knight Black doesn't allow him because first attacks the queen and then moves the queen. Here is how you use the queen. And the f-pawn is very weak. You cannot defend it basically. So finally you should give up a rook and a pawn to stop the attack of black. Of course white is has a, still has the outside pass pawn and is up a piece. But down exchange and down a pawn. And black has very good counterplay with rooks and queen together. But, for example, bringing the queen to c5 and releasing the rook to go to b2 or b1. But this wasn't what played in the game. In the game, what has been played was a little bit crazy, let's say. Because, first of all, Rapport simply gives up the pawn and then tries to attack the queen for whatever reason or... I have no idea if this was an attack to the queen. But the pawn is past pawn and is pushing forward. 
and Magnus tries to uh, stop it by going behind the pond, but this uh, stop. Uh, this was very. Um, uh, Richard Rapport tries to uh, stop it, but this uh, stop was very strange because Magnus simply pins the knight, and you cannot move the knight. If you move the knight, happily exchange the queens, and this is a complete win for White. And the game didn't last too long, and after this massive exchange, finally, um, uh, Magnus is up a piece down exchange and has a very strong fast one and report resigned hope you enjoyed bye